one. It's Louise here from Crazy Borgies. Right, I am kitting up four gorgeous 30 by 30 snack size little, well, they're not, well, they're 30 by 30s, but I just really want to do some uh, small little snack size projects at the moment while I'm working on uh, Mona Lisa. So, I have something that I can just grab and get get done with in one or two days. So just give me a break from the boring colour palette that is Mona Lisa. Shh. Sorry guys, my dog has just heard something across the road. Let me just pause you for one second. Right, I'm back guys. Right, okay. So I'm going to show you quickly the... 30 by 30 that I've chosen. Sorry for the dodgy camera camera angles. I'm just trying a new a new angle out. Um, so you'll have to bear with me. So I've chosen this gorgeous tree um, with special shades. So is it a bubble round? Mm, yeah, it it was it is slightly a bubble round, but we shall see how this one comes out. This one has 16 colours, so not too many, but a generous amount. And then we have this one, which is a deer in a bubble round again. So if you're new, a bubble round is basically one that has different size um, rhinestones to give it a bubble effect. So we have the normal size, which is a small and then a medium size and then a large size and it will give like a bubble effect a finish so yeah so we have that one and then we have this gorgeous Jesus one which is perfect for this time of year Easter so it's a picture of him coming out of his tomb after he's um after you know he's been risen from the dead after three days so I'm going to do this one one of my subscribers said she actually done this one because I was a bit concerned that 30 by 30 might be too small for this one um, to come out good because we know in the diamond painting world that the larger that you go with your diamond painting, the more the detail is. So I thought I'm going to go into this one open minded and see how how he comes out in this one. And then, last but not least, is the dove, the Holy Spirit. So, in a bubble round again, just a simple image of the bird in the middle. So, and, sorry, Jesus has 24. The dear one has 19 colours. And this little one only has 12. So, yeah. They're the ones that I'm kitting up today. And... Let's, without further ado, let's get started. Let's. I'm starting this video slightly later on in the day because I had a few things to do this morning. So, um, yeah, if you are new to my channel, then welcome. And um, if you like my content, then please like, comment, subscribe and share and if you are on instagram and tiktok then also please follow me on there which is crazy borgies diamond art so right let's get started i think i've got pulled out all my drills you will hear my parrot walking in the background yes she is around i may get her around further get her around get her out further on in the video um, so you guys can see her. She's still as mad as always. So I think my first painting is going to be this bubble tree one. This gorgeous one we're going to kit up first. So this one has a mixture of alphabetical and funky symbols. Yes, they're there. <laughs> And it does have the crystal codes with this one as well. So if you store your leftovers by DMC codes or crystal codes, then it's all good. I personally don't, so. But 
doesn't bother me either way. Right, so let me just get this out because what I like to do is I like to write my labels out first. Then I can just focus solely on just basically putting the drills in the container. So let's have a look now. Okay. So I hope you're all well this lovely Wednesday. So, okay. Square. H. And, um, yeah, I've not really had too much of a mad day today. I tried to take it a bit easy today because um, I've got a real full next couple of days, you know. So I thought, well, I went to Mass this morning. I had my nails done yesterday because I really needed doing. And, um, yeah, I took the little diamonds off purely because... My parrot kept trying to um, remove them for me and it was starting to really, really get to me. So, P, um, what else is there? There's P, there's an upside down T. Oh. The two little triangles. No, the two diamonds in a circle. We've got an egg timer as well. Oh, they kill me with these symbols, I tell you. I know Diamond Grandma was going on about them yesterday. I was going to comment on her video, but then I, I just forgot to. I'm terrible. My mind is all over the place at the moment. I think it's just because I've had a busy couple of weeks with birthdays and... Yeah, it's just been a bit mad. So I'm kind of glad that it's over now. March is nearly over and now we can solely focus on Easter, which isn't far away. And I've not bought one Easter egg as usual. I've left it to the last minute. So I better get my bumming gear. Putting it nicely there. <laughs> Right, okay, so this one has 16 colours, so get them out and I actually do this, put them like so, this is, you know, it's, everyone kits up slightly differently, um, this I find is the most effective way for me. I know some people, when there's funky symbols like egg timers, they put um, just the number that's on the bag, which is a good idea. But for me personally, I just like to go with the symbol because sometimes I, my brain doesn't work that well, guys. <laughs> Sometimes it works good, sometimes it doesn't work good. So I just like to make my life as simple as possible. I put that sticker on slightly wrong. I like to make it as simple as simple as possible for me personally. I'll just move it over there a bit. So that's why I just put them on the same. When there's funky symbols, the same order that the legend is in. If it was alphabetical and numerical, then I would do it alphabetical and numerical. But unfortunately, it's not. So. Yeah, so... An update on my one of my daughter's school situation. So they have now decided to knock her school down and rebuild it completely. It's more cost effective apparently to do that. The 
building is only 56 years old though so another thing with these tablet containers always make sure that you're putting the labels on the right way that they open because there's nothing worse than putting them on like that that way round and then realizing that you can't open it and not only that but some of these symbols could really <coughs> look the wrong way round it's it's not good especially when they're funky symbols right so yeah so temporarily now they're going to put up a a temporary school for them which has to have a fully working canteen and hall for assemblies and everything it's oh it's not good it's not good and I really feel for the teachers they're underneath so much pressure bless them but God willing he will help help them sort this situation out as quickly as possible because you know the children need a lovely lovely new school and a safe school that's the most important thing so and for them all to be together as well because at the moment the school we've got a couple of classes renting um classrooms off another school that's not too far um so the school is kind of a bit it's they're not together all the kids basically so it they need to bring the kids all back together so they can be a happy reunited school once again so because ours is only a little like churchy church catholic villagey sort of school so we only have one class per year group at the moment. Whether or not that will change after the build, the new build, I don't know. I hope not because that's one of the reasons that I chose the school that I chose for my children is because it was a small school. And being a Catholic primary as well, it's it's good to have um, what's it called? It's more about community as well, you know. So the fact that it's like a small little villagey school, it's lovely, you know. And sometimes I feel when you go into a bigger a bigger school with a bit more classes they kind of lose the community a bit you know I don't know maybe that's just me I don't, know. I don't think I was trying to rescue this this sticker I think I've rescued it a little bit because I like to put it on the container so that I know but don't think I've rescued it enough, but it'll do. It'll do. Oh, yeah. So the sun is out here. It is gorgeous weather at the moment, and I was gonna put my washing out on the line, but I couldn't. Basically, everything I tried to do yesterday and today, I just. It, can, it didn't get done guys you know do you ever have one of those days where you just feel like everything is against you yeah well i had one of those days yesterday and uh it was really annoying let me put it that way because first thing that happened was i went outside and i was going to try and hang my washing on the line because it was nice weather it didn't happen because i went out there and found that Somebody had basically gone and chucked all the pegs, all my washing pegs around the garden. So I wasn't happy about that. And not only that, but broken a whole load of them as well. So even when I collected them, I couldn't use them. It was just like, oh my God, these kids, they do my head in. And um, obviously you can't just blame one kid because it could be any one of them. 
but I have a sneaky feeling I know who done it. But anyway, so yeah, that first happened. Then I decided, right, okay, don't panic. Forget the washing. You know, we do the washing another day. Um, it's still sitting in my washing machine now. I didn't even do it today because my pegs hadn't arrived. <laughs> it's ridiculous, I know, but it just didn't happen today. And then after that, where's my scissors? Oh, there. After that little mini disaster, DZ208, always double check yourself as well that you've got the right kit for the right um, canvas. These, aren't they gorgeous? Um, so after that happened, I decided to get my hose, my water hose out and try and wash the kids swings that are at the bottom of the garden underneath a tree because they the winter hasn't been kind to these swings as the pigeons have used them as their personal pooping station yes so i was gonna do that and the amount of poop that was on this was just ugh was not nice at all i'm telling you it was not a nice job and it took me a good good couple of hours to do that you know it just it took me a lot longer i had to use washing up liquid to try and get it off and now i've sort of hung them upside down because i didn't oh, i didn't want to um put them the right side up in case another bird come along and thought oh freshly cleaned swings that's the perfect place for me to leave um leave a little present for someone so there was that and it took way too long way too long so number two is a gorgeous aqua blue they're very shiny though these clear ones weren't they look very shiny these are one of my favorite to kit up in uh kit up these 30 by 30s because usually a 30 by 30 doesn't usually have say over 25 26 colors it's unusual to have more than that in a 30 by 30 and these there's like they they hold a substantial amount more than what they look I was really shocked when I first used these little peel boxes actually that they held as much as what they did. I'm always double checking myself. So this is crystal code 0236 which is an aqua blue colour. So yeah, gorgeous. just two if you spill any don't panic <coughs> sorry <coughs> that's it forgive my folk if you spill any don't panic just literally put your finger on them press down firmly and they will come up with your natural skin oil so yeah i'm always spilling them I'll tell you, i've not spilled any that i've had to buy the whole kit again though i've always only spilt a couple um, but when you've got little people around there's another there's a medium sized rhinestone there so you can see the quality of them as well is really good not many cloudy ones at all well there's not any cloudy ones at all in there so, because with rhinestones, um, with my tiger especially, I noticed there was a lot of cloudy rhinestones in there. And see, like, you can really get a really good amount in these <coughs> little pill containers. So, there we go. I'm 
terrible. I haven't written on the back of any of these where I got them from. So I can't even tell you guys where I got them from. They're quite old, these ones as well. I ordered them quite a while ago. So this is, what number is this one? This is 0436, this one. No, that was the last one. This is 04, no, 0204. And that is just gorgeous. Look at the shine on them crystals, guys. So... Yeah, the, the last painting I'd done on Crystal Rhinestone, it had a real mixed quality of, of them in it, you know. Some were really lovely and some were just ugh, really cloudy and really chipped. But, you know, when you only pay, when you go to budget-friendly companies, like, you obviously want, you want the best that you can get for your money, but... You can't be too fussy because at the end of the day, you're only paying a really cheap, cheap price for it. You're not paying a huge amount. So, right, number H is, number five is DZ. No, that's the canvas code. Number five is 0404. So, you know, sometimes you do take a risk with the quality of the drills when you go to budget-friendly companies. But I have to say my overall experience has been fairly good. You might get one or two kits that are really bad or you run out of drills. But overall, it's all good. H0404. So again, another good quality of drills than this one. This is H. Okay. Whoops. Now we've got purples. This is a very colourful one. This, but these bubble rounds, that's something that most of the time they are really colourful. I really enjoy working on the crystal rhinestones. Well, I enjoy diamond painting full stop, or else I wouldn't have so many different kits, would I? So, okay. This is 0216, which is a gorgeous purple. Deep purple as well. Trying to not whoops. There. And we have a medium number seven, which is number seven is zero four one six. See if I can do this. Ah, oh, there we go. That's better. It's gone straight in. Wow. Usually I spill a load of them. But I do also like to show you the quality of the drills while I'm kitting up as well. So I will use my little tray. Eight is zero four three nine number nine and that is the semicircle no zero two three nine yeah so you can see the quality of these ones again is 
is excellent. Done with that. So now we are on number nine, which is zero four three nine. And that is a medium sized rhinestone to give that gorgeous bubble effect once again that we love or that I love. Gorgeous blue. And that is going in the percentage sign. See if I can get all these in here. Yes, I can. See, they hold a, a good amount, a good amount in there. Number 10. It's gorgeous yellow. Wow, the sparkle on these are just really good, really good quality. Okay, 0209 is this one. See the sparkle. And this is going in P. Hmm. Come on. So has anyone bought any Easter eggs yet? That's what I'd like to know because I haven't. So please tell me that I am not alone in being the only one that hasn't bought any Easter eggs yet. Because I'm usually quite good with Easter eggs. I usually start quite early but I don't know. It's just sort of caught up on me this year. Okay. So this is bag number 11 which is the upside down T and it's 0409 again medium yellow rhinestone gorgeous sparkle whoops that doesn't that didn't go in there that goes in the first one there you go Number 12 is 020, no, 0221. It's a gorgeous orange. And that's going in the two dots. Yeah. it's going too well guys there you go and then this one number 13 I have to say, I haven't found hardly any chipped or cloudy drills in this kit at all. Zero two two six, gorgeous red. I 
come on out you come <laughs> they don't want to come out there there we go Number 15 is 0426 now, which is a medium red rhinestone. I hope you're picking all the sparkle on this, guys, seeing all the, the cameras picking it up because they're really good quality, these ones, really good. And last but not least is our special shapes, even though the ones that aren't normal sizes are classed as special shapes, but these are just stunning, these ones. Oh, gosh. These marquee gold, bright gold, look at those. That is to go on the tree itself, so that is going to give an absolute gorgeous sparkly effect especially when we've got all those other colors going on around it so i'm wondering if i might need to put because there's quite a lot of these yeah we're most definitely going to need an extra container that's fine So a whole bag, because that was a whole bag, holds, um, can go in one and a bit, one, one and three quarters of one of these little pill boxes. So that's not too bad, is it? That's an orange. Is the orange it's in there? So there we go. That's our first kit sorted let me just put actually i don't need to put this i'll know that that is that that's our first one done for the bubble tree round with this one now with my 30 by 30s i don't tend to section them off too much anymore now what i tend to do is just put a, a bit of washi tape halfway round and i do put some around the edge as well if it's run over this one has if the adhesive has run over the picture so what i do is i'll put washi tape in the middle and then work half do this half first and then that half because they're only small it doesn't take long especially when you're multi-placing you know you could get one of these well i can get one of these done in about a day if i sat there uninterrupted but with children you know that doesn't always happen but top should be like one and a half days really um but yeah the adhesive has run over so i would also recommend putting some washi tape or some seller tape clear seller tape any tape that you've got just to so that you don't get any fluff or dirt on these these bits okay so there's our first one kitted up and now I'm going to get Miss Rio out for you guys to have a little catch up with her. So I know some of you are really missing seeing Rio's little mad, mad, literally very mad ways that she has because she is a character. I'll give her that. And she's desperate, absolutely desperate to get out. Aren't you, Rio? Mm -hmm. so come on then. She's 
going to come over, flying over in a minute because she always loves to come over and say hello, especially when I'm filming. So I say that and now you watch, she's going to be little camera shy. You're going to come over. Ria. Would you believe this? She's sitting on the door of her cage and she's like, well, I'm going to come over when I want to come over, not when you call me over. She can be quite stubborn as well. So I'm just going to ignore her. I'm going to give her her own treatment and I'm sure she'll come over, especially once she sees the beads. Right, so the next one I'm kitting up is... There she is, our gorgeous Easter picture, which is of Jesus coming out of the tomb here she is guys i told you the second that i start ignoring her i'll just lift you up a bit so you can see the second that i start ignoring her there she is real can you see yourself darling who's that who's that look can i see in the camera hmm? there she is <laughs> she's like yes i'm the star of the show here you know, forget the diamond painting. Just put me there. There she is. Yay. She just sit, wants to sit on me all the time, guys. It's so... Whoops. Just got whacked round the head with her wing. I'm sure she does it on purpose. Did you do that on purpose, Miss Flappy Bird? Yes. She's a gorgeous girl. I love her. I love her dearly, but she's... She's crazy. But they'd say that all my children and all the animals are crazy in this house. So, this one comes with all the DMC codes. And this one has 24 colours. So, a really good amount for 30 by 30. And it's just normal acrylic rhinestone, I think, on this one. So, let me just get the kit. Where have I put the kit? Where's the kit? There we go. Yeah, it's just normal. Okay, let's see if we can rescue this sticker. Because I do like to try and rescue the sticker. If I can. Oh, there's stuff on there. You come to see what I'm doing, have you, Rio? Yes. <laughs> She's on the camera now, guys. She wants to be the camera woman or camera parrot, even. Yep, I've not, I've just not rescued this sticker at all. But it's got the canvas code on there, so we will try to use it. Rio, stop it. I'm sure they don't want to see inside your mouth. <laughs> now that's a close up for you guys, isn't it? That is a close up. Look, give mummy a kiss. Kiss. Should I know I'd rather kiss the camera instead. Leo. Kiss mummy. Ah. <laughs> she can be loving, bless her, but she's. Uh, a crazy bird aren't you you're crazy right so once again i'm going to just write my stop trying to be the camera woman or camera parrot honestly i'm going to write my labels out first and then we'll see how we get going with rio because you know she can be a little troublemaker so we have This is all um, alphabetical, this one. Rio. <laughs> See, this is why they say you should never work with animals and pets. A animals and pets. Animals and children. That's the one. Oh, my gosh. She's just too much. She just made me laugh too much. I think what it is is she can see herself on the camera because the way I'm filming today is I've sort of got it, the camera facing me while I'm filming so that I can see what the picture looks like. No, don't do that. Um, so she thinks it's another parrot. 
Don't you? Do you think it's another parrot? Do you think it's another parrot? Rio. <coughs> it's really not, darling. Okay. So, here we go. I'm just looking at the timer. Oh, look. Yeah. <laughs> God, take this seriously, guys, with her there like that. Oh, you're so funny. Oh. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is going to be like a two-hour-long video with this bird, I tell you. See, this is why I can't film with her around because she just makes me laugh too much. Yes, you do, Miss Flappy Bird. Yeah. Oh, that's a good stroke, don't you? Ah. Okay. She wants to be centre of attention. That's what it is. She wants all my focus to be on her and she gets very, very jealous of anything really and anyone. R-Y-W and I think I couldn't ever think about getting another bird with her now, putting it in the cage with her because she'd be too jealous, wouldn't you Rio? Yeah, she's giving me some love now. She's like, no, put the pen down. You shouldn't be able to hold anything else other than me. M E V J K H Rio, stop tapping the screen. Rio, stop. H B. Oh, look at that. That's nice of them. They put a lower ha a lowercase h and a capital h just to help help our brains hurt a little bit more h d z a so any more stickers on this one no a u t there we go. So now that I've got my stickers, I'm going to put them in alphabetical order, I think. How many did I say? There's 24, isn't there, on this one? So, yeah. And trying to do this with a parrot on your hand isn't the best idea either, guys. So we're going to go A... Make sure they're the right way round. B. C. She's trying to snuggle up to me here, aren't you, Rio? C. Oh, look, I've already messed it up because of the capital B as well as the lowercase b. Right, okay, no problem. No problem. Rio, yeah, really? You're going to play with a bit of plastic or something? Right, hang on, because we've got to move this one now. Because there's a capital B and a lower B. Just to hurt my brain a bit more. And there's a C. Is there a capital D? No, there is not. There's just a lowercase d. Yeah, 
We are stop there. Stop it. When I don't show her attention, guys, she gets very, very funny. E. F. Uh, oh, there's two H's here now as well. No, you are not chewing my canvas, Missy. J. No. Now. Oh. And right, Leo, that's it. You're going to go on your perch. You're getting too much into mischief. There you go. <sighs> and in P. You see W. done alphabetically now now this will be fun matching up the uh, bags to Symbol. this is gonna hurt my head but I know it'll be worth it in the long run sorry Rio I made you jump because oh there we go because it will be. Right, so we're looking for A is number 22 bags, okay. Well, actually, let's just do it by bags, actually. One is S. But, uh, excuse me, imagine. What are you doing? No. Right, guys, I'm just going to go and give Rio some water and some food, and I'll be back in one second, because I think maybe she's trying to tell me she's hungry. So hold on a sec. Right, I'm back. Okay, so she wanted some food and water, even though she had some in her cage already, but I guess she wanted some fresh water and food, so that's what I've done. Okay, number one is S. There we go. It's like a grey blue colour. 
excellent quality again actually let's hope it continues this way okay number two is x let's see if we can pour it in like that it might be easier for me to pour it in like that guys Okay, another bluey grey. Okay. Three is F. Over here. Gorgeous orange colour. Gorgeous. Okay. Five is C. Let's hope that we can get all of these in here now. We shall see. Yeah. One little diamond. There. Whoops. Nearly. Nearly, guys. <laughs> Caught it just in the nick of time. Just try to put all the, keep all the rubbish together. Number six is. Number seven is Number eight Why? It's over here. I ask myself that question most mornings. Why? 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 <laughs> oh dear. I don't know what it is about England, guys, about the UK. Whenever we see a bit of sun, everyone starts dressing as if it's we're in a, you know, hot country. But it's really, it's not that hot. It's hot, but it's not hot enough for summer dresses yet. Um, I think we're going to have a mini heat wave, though. <clears throat> Number nine is...
outside. Everyone's walking around in shorts and t-shirts and it's really odd to see it like at this time of year because like it doesn't usually get hot quite as early as what it has this year. Uh, it is a bit unusual. Right, number 10 is N. That is N. It's a brown colour. Okay, 11 is, oh it's going quite well we're doing it this way, maybe I don't need to pour it into that pour, 11 is P. Whoopsie daisy. So this will be a long video guys because obviously I'm kitting up um, four paintings in it. 12 is M. So unless you have supersonic fast hands, <laughs> you're not going to kit up uh, four paintings in half an hour videos. So... There we go. Come on. Out. There's always one that just will not come out. There we go. So there's that one. Number 13 is what? Number 13 is E. E, E, E there. Have to be careful with these... Uh, capital letters and lower caps most definitely there e fourteen is v whoops there it is v Oops, a daisy. Whoops. Okay. Fifteen is J. Seventeen is lowercase h.
is a big bag of brown, dark brown. And 18 is capital B. Don't think I'm going to be able. Right. Going to have to use a spare one for this brown. So is anyone doing anything nice for Easter, going anywhere? Do you put decorations up in your house like I do? I go a bit mad at Easter, to be fair. I love all the little chicks and the bunnies. and I've ordered myself some arts and crafts as well, off canvas to do. Um, some more, because I do like doing the Easter ornaments. They're really cute. This was a capital B. And there's so many cute ornaments out on these um, websites at the moment. It's difficult to resist, isn't it? Okay, well, it is for me anyway. 19. Is it a capital H? Capital H. Where are you? Hmm, there. Gorgeous sky blue. Number 20 is a D, lowercase d. Oops. Yeah, lovely peachy orange that one is. Or really light orange. Okay, 21 is Z. This over here. Another orangey, peachy colour. Now, uh, 22 is another big bag, so I'm definitely going to need a spare for that. A. It's a grey colour. Okay. 
before I had my children and when I was working full time, I used to work in admin. And I think that's why my brain only works properly with uh, alphabetical and numerical from all the filing I used to do. Oh, right. Twenty. Ah, uh, uh, uh. See, I made a mistake there. I put U in T. In yeah, I put T in U. U in T. What number was that? That should be twenty-four, which is T. Okay. So yeah, just a small one. Thank God I realised, eh? Praise the Lord. And then... Hang on, have I done it again now? No, wait. Have to think, have to think. Nope, that is right. 23 is you. Last colour. There we go. So that's another one kitted up. Okay, there's our spares and put it all in alphabetical order. So U D, where's the D's? take long that one didn't actually I'm just gonna get something to stick that down and I have to put Jesus on it there we go so here I'm just gonna take a quick break now have some lunch and then come back and do the other two paintings okay hold on one second guys i'll be back in a moment hello guys right back again right so the next one i'm kitting up is gonna be this gorgeous bubble round 30 by 30 of the deer and just a cute little pattern of bubbles behind him i think it's supposed to represent Possibly the sun or the moon. I'm not sure which. We'll find out hopefully <laughs> when we finish it. Okay. So if this one has 19 colours. So I have just put some washi tape. It's not actually, it's actually masking tape. I'm going to lie here to you. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's red masking tape that I purchased. Um, just because it was cheap and cheerful. And just wanted something that was going to quickly cover up the glue and the glue went, went over the picture quite a lot on this one so um yeah that's why and then obviously i just used a thinner one so that i could still see the legend so anyway right let's kit this one up now so again i'm using my little pill containers and i've already put all the labels on them like that as you can see, I hope this camera angle is okay. Because this is later on in the evening now there. Is that a bit better? There. I think that's a bit better. Yeah. Or is that too... I don't know. There. Is that better? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I like you to come up a bit there. That's. I think that's as good as I'm going to get it, guys. Because we've had dinner, the table's a mess, and ugh, it's just stuff everywhere. I just can't deal with it at the moment. Okay, right. So, as you can see, I've already pre-labeled my little pill boxes here. So, um, yeah. 
I think let's just get straight to see these beautiful rhinestones now okay so let me just grab my scissors oh, and we can put this straight in there because I think it's quicker for me to do it that way and easier than well, actually let's see if we can rescue this stick up first I don't know if I will be able to because when I stick this down, whoops, shall we see now? Do you know what? I think if I just take it off like so and then, yeah, we go like that. I have an idea here guys whether or not it works I don't know and then I'm thinking I can just cut this bit off because I don't need all of the stick up I just need something to say what it is basically and then I can just get a bit of tape which has now disappeared on me and stick it on yeah. yeah so what ended off going me last in my last clip was me going off for lunch ended up me then going and having dinner and sorting the kids out and now it is about half past eight in the evening no half seven in the evening something like that um so you might hear a few little ones in the background but once again that is real life in the crazy boys household so right double checking this canvas number is the same it is ka132 that is for the rubbish and let's get started so we are gonna just have a look now at this legend because i've done it all alphabetical again so that i can see Whoops, I can see uh, them alphabetically because that's how my brain works best. Okay, so number one is black, which is just a normal black. Yeah. Okay. would help if I could open the bags to begin with wouldn't it oh my gosh I felt really sleepy today guys I don't know it's Wednesday and yeah I just felt really tired but do you ever find or is this just me now that sometimes when you go to bed early thinking that it's gonna make you feel a lot better it actually makes you feel worse you actually feel more tired that's what keeps happening to me i keep going to bed early thinking yeah i wake up feeling nice and refreshed no i don't i just still i feel just as tired in fact probably more tired right two is b which is the clear only a little bit of the clear actually Yeah. 
Yeah, there's the clear in there. And then the three is C, which is no, three is D. There we go, so it's this one. Going to put it over there. Gorgeous pink. That one is. Seeing if it's focusing okay. I hope it is. There. Can you see that, guys? Is it focusing? Focus. No. Doesn't want to focus today. Not sure why. That's as good as it's going to get. Yeah. Okay. Right. Number four is what symbol is number four is H. So that's over here. Gorgeous aqua blue colour. to be a lot of this aqua blue colour in um, a lot of these bubble paintings I've noticed. Right, number five is L. Okay. Number five is L. Again, the quality of these appears to be excellent. I haven't seen any um, come on out any cloudy ones as of yet. Okay. 
whoops, nearly, nearly done it. Oh, oh, it doesn't want to stick to my finger, there we go. Okay. A is B. Flower yellow. Number nine is a medium size baby pink, which is C. Okay, C is over here to give that gorgeous bubble effect. Right, number ten is G. See, if you were working in a little pill, not a pill, a little, you know, the uh, separate containers that weren't joined like this, then it wouldn't matter. You could just do it in the same order as the legend and then move them around afterwards to put them in alphabetical order. But because these are joined, um, you have to really put them in order what well, you do you have to put them in order along with the the row because obviously you can't separate these um it's just the way they are really but it's funny when they are separate they um are a lot more expensive as well so maybe when they're all joined like this they're probably cheaper to make i'd imagine Number 11 is M. M, okay. So that is at the back here. Oh, sugar. Never mind, never mind. this gorgeous white medium rhinestone yeah and oh, let's get this right next to it this is the aqua blue rhinestone now think they're arguing upstairs over the light switch one lights the dark and one hates it and lights the lights on to sleep so all night long all you hear is the switch going one gets up out of bed switches it on it goes back to bed and then a few minutes later then the other one gets up and goes and switches it off oh drives me insane it really does 13 is t always been like that ever since they were little as well so one is scared of the dark and one loves the dark they're like chalk and cheese they really are there we go gorgeous pinky shade is it pink or red my eyes deceiving me tonight they probably are 
Yeah, it's like a pinky red, that one. Okay, 14 is... What is 14 is Q. That's good, that's there. a medium sized yellow and 16 we've got a big bag of purple here and these are the larger rhinestones now so we have the normal size the medium size and then the large size so these might take up more than one of these containers it depends 16 is E. Whoops, we shall see. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. So we get our spares. I get them a spare tray out for the spares to go in. using I was using a pen and I put it down sorry guys I'm just trying to find the pen that I used to write my labels out but it's now aha there it is it was hiding no I think that's the same pen okay so this one is E There we go. I'll keep them near me because I think we'll have to do it. Oh wow, these have a AB coating on. I'm not sure if the purple ones did. I didn't double check. No, I don't think the purple ones did. Okay, number 17 is K. That one. Whoops, one just flicked out at me. Right. Yeah. Okay, we got so you can really see I don't know if the camera's picking it up the Aurora Borealis there. Aurora Borealis, that's it, AB in other words, the extra coating that gives it a Northern Lights effect. But I think to be honest, if most people are nuts on diamond painting, most diamond painters love the ABs as well, just because they give it extra sparkle. So I think anyway, I mean, yeah, from what the ones that I watch certainly do. The other diamond painters, they love the AB coated ones. I actually wondered what it would be like to do a whole full drill painting in ABs. What that would look like. It would be quite interesting to see that, wouldn't it? I'm always open to new ideas, you know. That's the thing with my channel is I'm always thinking of like different ways to sort of 
do paintings that no one's ever done before you know so famous people that no one's diamond painted before or you know um, famous places just like to think a little bit out out of the box a bit right number 18 is P I think someone um, wrote on one of my unboxings actually that it was a very interesting selection of diamond paintings that I've chosen because you know with me you never know what you're going to get one minute I'll be painting a bubble round next minute I'll be painting Van Gogh, Beethoven or Mona Lisa even you know um, and then I'll flip from that onto Jesus and then I'll go on to something random like I don't know a colourful tiger <laughs> so you know I think you know with me you just don't know what you're going to get that's just part of my uh, uniqueness shall we say I like to spice it up a bit and be a bit different so oh right i'm back guys sorry about that my little one just came in and demanded some pizza because uh we had some chips from the local chip shop as we always do on a wednesday as a little midweek um treat for them always get them chips and also by wednesday i'm a bit like you know ooh, just exhausted already um this is S. But she didn't want to eat them. So. Put it in the kitchen, please. Um, so she wants pizza. Which isn't the best. But, you know, this is what happens. She's a, a restrictive eater, so she'll only eat a limited amount of food and she'll only eat certain foods it drives me insane but it is what it is with autism isn't it that's the thing so there is no no um no answer to everything it's just it is what it is and you just have to accept that sometimes guys you know anything to make your life a bit easier and to not have you know what it is you've got to know what your battles what battles to pick because there's so many that you've got to fight with autism that you know you can't fight them all so to speak right okay i'll be back in one moment because she's harassing me again now okay right I'm back again oh gosh she's not a happy girl i'm telling you because she doesn't understand that the pizza has to cook. You can't eat it raw. But anyway. Right. So there's this one kitted up. And with the 30 by 30s, as I said, I tend to just work, um, do one side of it at a time. Because they're only little. So I don't really need to section it into four. Because most of the time I end up doing it in a day. So... That's what I do now is I just go across and multi-place is the key to one of these. Because <laughs> it would take you a lot longer, I think, if you didn't multi-place. But I tend to, I think I've shown you before how I multi-place on one of these. And, um, you know, you can get them done fairly quick. But... Obviously, I sort of switch between multi-placing and um, multi-placing and just single-placing, you know. But I don't usually multi-place more than four at a time um, if I am doing a bubble round or, or any other painting, really. So... We just clear all this rubbish away and then we can move on to our last our last painting to where did I put the others? I can't remember now. Our last painting. 
which is this one. Right, so this gorgeous dove, one of my favourite images, obviously being a Christian, a Catholic Christian. And um, yeah, it only has 12 colours. I don't think I've seen this one completed yet, but I am noticing the glitter in this in the glue even when I move and in the canvas actually there is a right glitter on it I don't know if the camera is actually picking it up at all probably not with my dodgy lighting but <laughs> in this living room anyway right so we are going to kick this up and still using my cute little um, what's it called pill boxes that's what i call them there we go i should be able to get this off come on i think i will will i be able to no oh hang on oh, maybe maybe noticed if I go really slow sometimes no sometimes it just doesn't work come on oh. let's see no it doesn't want to come off guys it doesn't it wants to stay on there okay that's how you do it clearly and we don't need that bit. I don't need it getting on the sides there. So we can just stick this down with a bit of tape when I find some. <laughs> there. Like so. Okay. Right, let's get these drills out and see what these symbols are that we're working with. Oh, we've got a few funky symbols going on here, guys. Just a few. Never mind, never mind. Okay. So, when it's like this, um, I will just work same label up the same the peel box is the same way as the legend is the same order even right so let's see what we've got we've got a v for one e a plus sign p oh gosh the three upside down triangles the semicircle. Oh, jeez. C. Oh, no, I've run out of labels. Okay, that's how you know you need to put your glasses on is when you go to write something and there's nothing there. Right, C. And then hash. And then half a square. The egg timer. And back to front square. And a, a decimal percentage sign. Oh God, I can't think tonight, guys. been a long day today i think the sun as well coming out it's sort of i've decided to walk again i've been doing a lot of walking in the sun and you know they say to cover your head don't you when you're walking and i don't i just go off and hope for the best <laughs> and it was very hot out there today i'm not gonna lie unusually hot as i said earlier for this time of year Right, 
I noticed when I was buying these on Amazon, these are quite old, these containers. But for some reason, the colour the colour ones are um, more expensive than the clear ones. I'm not quite sure why. Okay. And then we have on C. Hashtag. No, not hashtag. Uh, slash. Whatever. Uh, the square. And. The egg timer sign. The back to front. Triangle. There we go. Right. Okay. Let's get started now. So we've only got 12, but we might have to use, I think most definitely for the silver, we will have to use uh, a couple of the extra sides. So... go that is the first spare okay hold on one second guys right back again guys <laughs> Hopefully now, this will be the last time I'll have to stop filming and they're all in bed and hopefully they will all not, oh, not interrupt me anymore. <sighs> okay, right, where was I? So, I was on number two, which was, yeah, I've just done number one. E. Okay, right. Yes, I've done these in order, haven't I? So, just want to get these kitted up so that I can have them to hand to grab when I want to do one that's quick and easy to do. There we go. That is a medium sized clear rhinestone. Rhin uh, clear rhinestone there we go and once again the sparkle on them is amazing like the quality of these are really good actually I'm actually quite curious to know where I got them from now I think I'm going to have to start doing what Diamond Grandma does and she always writes on the back where she got it from and how much she paid because it's easy to lose track after a while. Right, this is that aqua blue shade again. That is always in bubble rounds for some reason. Are we going to fill it? Or are we going to need another? No. Maybe just. Is there any more? I have so many spares of this colour, it is crazy. Okay. So, I think 
We just got away there with getting them in there. Brilliant. Number four is the medium rhinestone in the same aqua blue shade, which is P. Whoops. Let's bring them up a bit there. I hope you can see nice and clear. Again, quality is excellent. Whoops. There we go. So there's that one done. Uh, right, so now we're moving on to this one. Which is number five. Which is a different, a lighter shade of uh, of blue. Very sparkly. I think I just dropped one there. Okay. Number five. No, number six even. Is yeah. This one, which is a medium blue again. Am I going to fit it all in? Mm. No. So this is the spares, isn't it? Yeah, it tends to be the mediums and the large ones that need another spare there we go let's get another label that was a semicircle is it a semicircle or is it a half the circle whatever that is <laughs> Right, okay, number seven is purple. Number eight is another medium sized purple. So this one seems to be predominantly purpley shades, I think. Purple and blues, clear. We have got a couple of yellows, I think, as well. Have we? Have we got all oh, golds even? Like a really light. No, actually we haven't got any yellows. I don't know what I'm thinking about. So we've got blues, clears and purples in this one. Different shades of purples as well. So that will be interesting to see. So I'm on number nine now, which is... This 
one. Whoops. It's another shade of purple. This one. But very similar to the other shade, maybe just a touch difference, just a slight difference. If it will come out, there we go. And the pen is the medium in the same shade. shades now number 11 is this one and it's a blue dark blue color The medium rhinestone in the same dark blue, like a midnight blue sort of shade. And there we go. Whoops. All done. No. Nope. Not all done because I'm seeing ones have dropped now. There we go. Finito. Right. So that's another one kitted up and ready to for me to start work on whenever I get the feeling to do it. Which will be soon because this all this is a representation of the Holy Spirit. This one for me, so um, yeah, it'll be soon that I'll start working on this one. And yeah, thanks for joining me in this really long video. If you have managed to stick it out right through to the end, I do sincerely apologise for the amount of times that I've had to say, "Oh, hold on a second, I just need to sort this out," but. You know, it's real life and with the magic power of editing, I can just put it all together in one video. So, yeah. That being said, I think doing four kitten up in one video was probably a bit of an over... An over... What's the word? Uh, oh, I can't think now. My brain's gone. Um... Just probably a bit too much to do four paintings in one video like this because I do like to have a good look at the diamond qualities as I'm kitting up and I do like to have a little bit of a talk as well. I don't know if you've noticed that guys. <laughs> I do like to talk, hence why doing YouTube is really the perfect hobby and way to if I can make a living from it would be lovely but I think Rio stands more of a chance of making a living from it for me than I do oh dear anyway I hope you enjoyed her little debut today as well for those of my fellow parrot lovers out there she is adorable she's in bed fast asleep now and uh just like 
the children she gets so grumpy when she's tired bless her but anyway i hope you've all had a beautiful relaxing time with me here i try to keep it as relaxing as possible and i look forward to doing my review and completion videos of these four gorgeous snap size paintings so very curious to see how jesus coming out of his um out of his mountain is it no his cave that he was in see how that that comes out because it's such a small size but anyway on this note i'm gonna love you and leave you and once again thank you for joining me if you like my content then please give me a thumbs up um please also subscribe and share and comment down below and um i am struggling to keep up with the comments because it's just i don't get enough hours in the in the day guys but i will respond to every single one as and when i get a chance to might not be straight away it might not be the same day it might be a couple of days later but i do try to um speak to you all because you know i think it's really important that we have that that line of communication open with our uh, subscribers as well and um, it's interesting to get your feedback on my videos and to know what you like and um, it is a very good feeling to know that your videos are helping someone through the day if they are struggling or if they're you know feeling lonely or if they're ill and you know they can't diamond paint or they can't get get out much and watching one of the youtube videos is good you know i know it certainly helped me during lockdown i tell you but um so if i can help someone as well then it's all good anyway i hope you have a beautiful remainder of your what day is it today wednesday yeah <laughs> terrible I forget my name sometimes, I tell you. But I hope you all have a beautiful remainder of your Wednesday. And um, once again, if you are on TikTok or Instagram, then please do also follow me on there. It's Crazy Borgies Diamond Art. Okay, so on that note, yeah, God bless you all. And I hope you all stay safe, stay stay your usual lovely selves and look after yourselves and one another because you know i think that's that's important what you put out in the world you will surely receive back i think um i know from my own personal experiences you know so as i said god bless you all and i will speak to you all soon bye for now guys bye take care god bless